Hello everyone, hello and welcome again Paolo, uh, Paolo Bellutta live from NASA JPL in California. Hi Paolo. Hi everybody. So it has been a few months since we, we talked and when you told us about you know, the new adventure of Curiosity on Mars. So here we are again to ask you about what's, what has been going on and some update. So I know that you still have 18 months to go, but of course we hope we'll, uh, we'll ask you later about the future of Curiosity, but we want to know about what has been going on so far. How was the ride? How's Mars? How's the landscape? Are you enjoying it? Uh, Mars is uh, always uh, cold, but uh, uh, I like it a lot. I like the scenery that uh, we see every day. Uh, we have captured uh, wonderful mosaics, uh, um, and the science is uh, uh, flowing in. Scientists uh, are processing the, uh, the data that has been collected so far. Um, so uh, everything has been a smooth ride so far. So um, tell us more about the, the tour. How long have you, dri have you been driving and how far are you planning to go in the next few weeks? Um, we have uh, driven a little over half a kilometer now and uh, we uh, are planning to uh, drive uh, to the next location which is about, uh, about 120 meters from uh, our current uh, location. And uh, we get to do some uh, drilling at that station. Uh, and I assume that uh, this is going to happen before by Christmas time. Okay. So where will, where will Curiosity be on Christmas Day? Um, it is uh, uh, at a location called um, uh, Glen, uh, Glen Elk. And uh, we get to um, uh, drill some rocks uh, that uh, we have uh, at our current location that apparently are uh, pretty interesting. So, and after that, you, are, you will be moving towards uh, a mountain, that's, that's what I, I hear. Yes, um, by the end of the mission, which is uh, two Earth years of one Martian year, uh, we will be at the base of uh, Mount Sharp, which is the mountain that is at the center of uh, Gale Crater. Uh, the, uh, that uh, location is about uh, eight and a half kilometer from, uh, uh, from our current location. So we, we should be uh, start driving pretty fast, uh, as fast as we can. Yeah, on Mars. speed. <laughs> um, so what um, what are the, um, the difficulties in the, in the in the movements? Because if you are going towards a, a steeper location, you need to to be securing the the rover every time. Am I correct? Uh, the uh, uh, driving from here to the base of the mountain it should be pretty smooth sailing. Uh, the terrain is pretty benign. Uh, there, is, there are no um, major sand dunes that we need to cross. Uh, there are no big obstacles that uh, we need to uh, negotiate. Uh, so it should be um, smooth sailing, as I was saying. But uh, uh, you never know, Mars has thrown us uh, uh, pretty uh, difficult uh, problems in the past, and uh, uh, we want to make sure that uh, the vehicle is going to stay safe uh, at all times. So you, you said you've been driving for half a kilometer and you will be driving 125 meters and this could could not seem a lot but you've been doing a, a lot of maneuver with the with the to do science so what, what else has been going on? Um, we, uh, we have uh, driven only a little in the uh, recent past uh, simply because we have uh, been using the arm a lot. We have uh, scooped uh, terrain uh, on a sand, uh, a small sand dune, and uh, we have uh, um, portioned uh, the samples and deposited these uh, samples into Kemin and Sam uh, for analysis. Can you drive while the instruments are doing the analysis? Uh, we cannot. But uh, recently we have uh, been exploring the possibility and we have been doing this uh, already of uh, caching a sample inside camera, uh, which is the instrument that, that uh, uh, sees and portions uh, the various samples that we can collect uh, on the surface of Mars. Um, so we uh, get to cache the sample inside uh, the uh, rover head and uh, drive uh, with the sample inside. 
the vehicle was not designed to do that, uh, but uh, we have been exploring this uh, possibility uh, of uh, driving for a long time with a sample in the in the head. Okay, so let's go back to the to the scooping because uh, this scooping this week has been gathering a lot of attention because we are all waiting for the moment that one of those samples will reveal traces of life on Mars. How do you feel about? just the idea of being the one who's actually moving the arm, who's going to gather the sample that will reveal this uh, evidence. Yeah, it is going to be uh, really exciting. Uh, I don't know whether to uh, expect it soon or, or later or at all, uh, but it is going to be uh, uh, really incredible uh, when uh, uh, when we do get some information about uh, the possibility of uh, having found some uh, organic uh, compounds on Mars. You said that the, the whole mission is uh, two years. We, we have 18 months to go now, it, um, Earth months to go. And what's going to happen? This is the end of the primary mission. What's going to happen to Curiosity after that? Uh, if uh, NASA headquarters is going to give us uh, some additional funding, uh, I hope that we will to continue the mission until uh, the vehicle dies, which I hope is going to happen in many, many years. This is the same thing that happened with, with Opportunity. When was that supposed to stop? Uh, <clears throat> opportunity was uh, supposed to uh, last only 90 souls, 90 Martian days, uh, and uh, Opportunity is approaching the ninth uh, Earth year on Mars, wow. so that is uh, quite longer than expected. And this mission, the, um, Opportunity, that's a rate, it's, it's still going. Uh, yes. Are you planning to, you've been driving them, uh, Spirit and then Opportunity, are you planning to go back and driving? That as well. Uh, that is that is my hope. Uh, I'm still uh, full time uh, working on uh, MSL right now, uh, but uh, my hope is that I can be able to return to uh, drive opportunity. And I've heard that just today that um, NASA is already pitching idea for uh, the next rover that will be on Mars in 2020. And are you planning to be driving that as well? Uh, well, I hope so, uh, I, um, but uh, um, this is still in the early phases, uh, so uh, I don't know what is going to happen, uh, whether that is going to materialize or not, uh, um, but my hope is that I get to participate in that mission as well. So, uh, of course, Mart is in, is in your arse, you, you have been driving all, everywhere around the, the planet now, before with the other two rovers and now with Curiosity. But I've heard that uh, there, is, um, there is another place where we could be hoping to find some evidence of life, which is on Mercury, because recently a uh, messenger found evidence of water ice on Mercury's pole, and who knows, you know, what can be. Do you think we could, we could um, I don't know, anticipate a, a mission maybe with a rover, because that's too hot for, to send people there, but what do you think? Uh, well, yeah, that is my hope. Uh, of course, uh, I love uh, robotic uh, robotic exploration of uh, our worlds, uh, but um, I think that it's going to be a really difficult mission, uh, uh, building a vehicle that uh, can last uh, for uh, a long time on, on Mercury is going to be quite difficult. So how? Just one last question. How's the um, spirit uh, in the in the, in the office with this uh, uh, new excitement? Um, you know, this week. But I mean, every day you do such a such a cool job that every day you could uh, anticipate new new interesting data or new um, new analysis. So uh, what can you tell us uh, from an insight point of view about the daily life in the in the in the office? Uh, we are all excited, of course. Uh, of uh uh, driving this mission, and uh, we are always uh, glued to our screens and uh, looking at uh, the most recent data from Mars. It is uh, really an exciting mission. And when you when you go home, when you're not in the office, do you look for Mars in the sky? Um, yes, uh, but mostly I look at uh, on uh, on my computer screen at home. I uh, connect to the servers here at JPL and uh, look at the data when it comes down.
for your career. You can't wait <laughs> to, to <Yes>. see that. <laughs> I see. Okay, Paolo, thank you very much for this update. We might even uh, talk to you again in the next future, maybe when that sample comes, when we have, uh, let's hope soon, the um, evidence of um, compounds, organic compounds uh, found on Mars. Sure. See thank you. you soon. Thank you very much. Bye.